Hello, my beautiful Aries dragons. Welcome to your March 2022 reading. So first I have <clears throat> the Heal Yourself cards. So we're going to get an overall energy for what's happening for March. There's um, <clears throat> a lot of new stuff happening because it is the equinox. And um, we sort of, you know, at that point where we made it out of winter, or for those of you perhaps suffering through your summer, uh, you've made it. So um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and liking the videos. So let's go ahead, Aries, and let's see what the cards have for you. So this is just the overall energy. Remember, energies can be reversed. Know your charts. Okay, let's see if I can get one more card. Oh, there's one other thing. That's why I sort of, uh, there's one other thing that's happening, which is Mars and Venus. So um, they are in a position where um, Mars is sort of, in, so Venus is about love. Mars is about sort of coming in and taking care of things. So right now you may have people exiting your life or you may have the feeling like you want and in your starting to have people exit your life that aren't serving any good for you and this is exactly what this is about is it's it's about you really reclaiming it's it's this huge energy shift that's happening so the cards that came out for you is say what you mean and sexual arts. I have a feeling that you may be obviously feeling a certain way um, in regards to a relationship. And since it's sexual arts, it could have something to do with sex, but it could also just have something to do with a um, um, just a romantic relationship. So obviously there's something that you need to say. And I feel like maybe you feel like they're withdrawn. Or maybe it's something, you know, in the bedroom. But there's something that needs, there's something that's been on your mind. And I really feel like you just need to get it out. Let's see. Let's see what the cards say. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these cards. These cards love to fly out on me. They're, it's like a fantastic deck. But I really have to control them. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so... Let's see what's come out in the past. So in the past, we have the chariot and the four of pentacles. I think somebody was really, um, you were moving towards somebody or somebody's coming towards you. But then the other person is sort of hanging on to something. Um, I feel like it's like, it's two very different energies. The four of pentacles is very much a stop and the chariot is very much a go. So... I feel like you guys haven't been in the same place in this relationship. You may feel like maybe you've been giving too much um, and they've been withholding, right? So that's the way I see this is the chariot is the movement. It's the going. And yeah, the four pentacles is just sort of hanging on, um, trying to keep maybe too much control, Um Maybe somebody's being inflexible, but there's there's two very different energies here. And I think that this is sort of what's going on with this. Let's see what's come out here. So we have the world and the ace of cups in reverse. Yeah, I think that... Let me just keep going here. Yeah, the queen of swords in reverse. The five of wands. I feel like... You're trying to break a pattern. You're trying to end something. You're trying to fix something. You're trying, like, you're the one that's trying, but this other person isn't. You know, the ace of cups in reverse. There's a delay, right? Something isn't happening the way that you thought. Queen of swords in reverse. There might be a lot of um, just sharp tongue, right? I'm just like, just like, you guys just sort of arguing back and forth. Very sharp tongue. That's what I'm getting with the queen of swords. Just very mean and then the five of wands yeah there's just arguing and fighting and being pulled apart but you're sitting there and you're just like all I want is for this to close but there's all this going on around you I don't know if if you're hoping for the world and and you're gonna mean what you say um when when you say that 
because all of this, like, there's just, there's so much unhappiness. Let's see what comes out. Okay. So we have the seven of wands, the fool in reverse, the seven of pentacles and the lovers. With the seven of wands, um, I feel like you're going to just be true to yourself. You're going to go into this situation and you're going to sort of say, listen, I think that you realize in the situation that you have to be you. And if this other person isn't going to meet you, you're ready to just say, forget it. Right. And you feel very foolish when you say what you mean, because, um, because it's like, listen, it's sort of, it's not an ultimatum. Ultimatums are usually with like blackmail, but it really is. Sometimes it's for a good, healthy thing, right? If somebody's playing games and they're not committing and they're being well, really, it's just, it's just being a jerk, right? It's like being emotionally unavailable and it's not cool. You shouldn't have to go through that, right? So you feel like you're really taking a big risk. You feel like you're being a little bit impulsive. And when you do this and when you say this, what's really going to be happening is when you do this, whatever answer you get, your, um, your hard, like, you know, that there's going to be a lot of hard work no matter what happens. Um, you're being advised though, with the seven of pentacles to let go of any fears that you may have of what may happen because you're making the choice to move towards love. Even if it's away from this person, I don't know. I don't know. Are you guys going to tell me? So let's see if we can get them to say, because the thing, it's a general reading. <sighs> let's take a big breath and let's see where they're going to go. What is it going to happen? Let's see. Uh, I want to keep them the same way. Just a second. The nine of wands in reverse and temperance in reverse. Uh, you may have to walk away. Temperance in reverse, right? So it's just chaos, right? And you might have seen that you're trying to force something out of somebody. And then when you go and you approach them, they're just going to say, hey, I don't know where you got all this. I didn't say any of that. I didn't say I wanted this. I right, and and you're gonna have to either walk away from this idea, this situation, this person. If somebody who you're with and it's just over something, you're gonna have to decide if that is a deal breaker, right? So, like I said, this is just a general. So I don't know exactly um, what it is. So let's go ahead and get. see. Yeah. So the card that came out for you is friendship. So nurture your relationships. I feel like whatever this is, it's sort of taken up so much of your time and so much of your energy. You need to go and reconnect with your friends. You need to go and, um, and find yourself, right? Like you're really good, true, deep friends. You can always go back to, and it's, um, it's, it's this, it's sort of like this beautiful finding of yourself and it might be giving you the confidence to do this. Or you know what, once the situation happens, you may go and ask them to be sort of advisors around it. It's like, okay, be honest with me. What do you think? Right? And it's like, but be honest, right? Because I have people in my life who have decided not to be honest with me and they didn't tell me and they didn't tell me what they saw, even though I couldn't see it. And it didn't do me any good. Okay. It actually was harmful. So it's like, no, be truthful and let me sit. And I might not like what you have to say, but let me hear you. Okay. Okay, Aries. So this is your reading for March. Again, right? Like what I said with the energy of March is releasing the relationships that are not meant for you. Okay. Remember, if this is not your situation, don't make it your situation. Okay, Aries, please do like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for being a part of my channel and I will see you next time.